McDonald's is the world's largest fast food restaurant chain, with over 36,000 locations in over 100 countries. The company was founded in 1940 by brothers Maurice Mack and Richard McDonald in San Bernardino, California. Today, it is one of the most recognizable brands in the world. This video tells the story of how McDonald's became one of the most successful companies in the world. The first McDonald's restaurant was opened in 1940 by brothers Maurice, Mac, and Richard McDonald in San Bernardino, California. It originally was a drive, and that offered a wide selection of items. However, in 1948 the brothers decided to revamp the business, and after a three-month renovation, a newly envisioned McDonald's opened. The small restaurant was designed to produce huge quantities of food at low prices. To achieve this, the brothers limited the menu which only featured hamburgers, potato chips, later replaced by french fries, drinks, and pies and developed a simple, efficient format that they named the speedy service system. This included a self-service counter that eliminated the need for waiters and waitresses, and customers received their food quickly because hamburgers were cooked ahead of time, wrapped, and warmed under heat lamps. These innovations allowed the brothers to charge just 15 cents for a basic hamburger, about half the price of competing restaurants. McDonald's was a huge success, and the brothers began a franchise program. Appliances for McDonald's were purchased from a salesman named Ray Kroc, who was intrigued by the need for eight malt and shake mixers. In 1954, he visited the restaurant to see how a small shop could sell so many milkshakes. Realizing there was great promise in their restaurant concept, Kroc became a franchise agent for the brothers. In April 1955, Kroc launched McDonald's Systems, Incorporated, later known as McDonald's Corporation, in Illinois, and there he also opened the first McDonald's franchise east of the Mississippi River. In 1961, Kroc bought out the McDonald Brothers. Realizing that franchisees were vital to the company's success, Kroc developed exacting standards for how each McDonald's should be run, from food preparation to cleaning. To ensure the standardized operation of the outlets, he created a program, later known as Hamburger University, to train franchisees. In addition, he eventually changed the format of the restaurants, adding counter staff to take orders, and in 1975 a McDonald's in Arizona opened the chain's first drive through window, a feature that soon became ubiquitous. During this time McDonald's also introduced three features that would define its brand and further public recognition. First, in 1963, the public face of the company was introduced, a clown named Ronald McDonald. However, criticism over marketing to children and the growing negative perception of clowns resulted in the company largely sidelining the character in the early 21st century. Perhaps the most notable addition occurred in 1968, when McDonald's added the Big Mac to its national menu. The iconic hamburger went on to reportedly become the company's top, selling item after french fries. In addition, during the 1960s, the chain refined its logo, eventually debuting the famous double, Arch M Design, which became its enduring symbol and one of the most famous logos in the world. It was inspired by the tall yellow arches that had dominated earlier McDonald's restaurant rooftops. These changes helped spur McDonald's growth. In less than 10 years after Kroc became the sole owner of McDonald's, the number of the chain's outlets topped 1,000. Boosted by these numbers, the company's stock began trading publicly in 1965. The chain continued to expand domestically and internationally. In 1967, a franchise opened in Canada, McDonald's first location outside the United States. By the early 21st century, there were some 34,000 outlets operating in more than 115 countries and territories. Growth was so swift in the 1990s that it was said a new McDonald's opened somewhere in the world every five hours. It effectively became the most popular family restaurant, emphasizing affordable food, fun, and flavors that appealed to children and adults alike. Over the years, McDonald's also expanded its menu, introducing filet o fish sandwiches, quarter pounders, egg McMuffins, Happy Meals, and Chicken McNuggets. In addition, restaurants in foreign countries also adapted their menus to appeal to local customs and tastes. In the late 20th century, McDonald's moved beyond the hamburger business by acquiring Chipotle Mexican Grill, 1998, Donato's Pizza, 1999, and Boston Market, 2000, in the United States. 
and in the United Kingdom McDonald's purchased Aroma Cafe and an interest in Preta Manger, a sandwich restaurant chain. However, by late 2008 McDonald's no longer owned or had a stake in any of those companies, instead concentrating on its own brand. The success of McDonald's brought increased criticism, much of which concerned its perceived association with a global increase in obesity. In the early 2000s, various lawsuits were filed against the company in the United States, alleging that its food caused health problems. Although none of the plaintiffs prevailed, a number of states passed bills banning obesity lawsuits against fast food companies. McDonald's also experienced a backlash following the popular documentary Super Size Me 2004, in which the filmmaker saw his health drastically decline while on a diet of only McDonald's foods. McDonald's responded to the criticism by adding healthy items to its menu, and it began developing a vegan hamburger, variations of which would appear under such names as McVegan, PLT, and McPlant. In 2017, the company released its first plant-based hamburger, though it was only available in certain markets. Two years later, it began testing another vegan hamburger. In addition, in 2018, McDonald's announced that it had stopped using preservatives in most of its hamburgers. During this time, the company also eliminated supersized portions, and its United States and Canadian restaurants stopped using trans fat in a number of items. Such measures, however, did little to stem health concerns. As one of the world's largest private employers, McDonald's faced numerous calls to increase wages. The term McJob was added to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary to mean low-paying job. The company also was criticized for its negative impact on the environment especially in regard to its contributions to greenhouse gas emissions. In the early 21st century, McDonald's launched initiatives to reduce emissions at its restaurants and in its suppliers' production of beef. In addition, the company's packaging was a source of concern, and during this time McDonald's launched a program to move toward renewable or recycled bags, utensils, and other items. The story of the McDonald restaurant is one that is both heartwarming and inspiring. It is a story of how a small business can make a big difference in the lives of its employees and customers. It is also a story of how the power of positive thinking and hard work can overcome any obstacle. We hope that this story will inspire others to follow their dreams and never give up. Do let us know about your experiences about your goals and what kept you going through the rough patches. And do stick around if you want to learn more about finance management. You'll find plenty of content about achieving financial independence here on this channel. Until then, subscribe, like, and share. Bye for now. Till next time.